Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Solomon Scott Selections here for Tuesday, November 23rd. Before we get into today's play of the day, quick recap of weapon. Yes, we picked up a loss in basketball with Valanchunas over 12 and a half rebounds at plus 106 on FanDuel. I said in the video, there'd be two ways that we would lose this prop. One would be foul trouble. Two would be a blowout, and we ended up getting both, unfortunately. Valanchunas picked up two fouls quickly in the first quarter, went to the bench for a decent portion of the first half, then picked up a third foul right before halftime, barely played in the second half as well. The Pelicans went down 20-plus in the third quarter, and then Valanchunas ended up coming back in at the way end, but he only played like 18 minutes. Game flow was terrible, and it wasn't really close. So picked up a loss there. Felt like to bounce back with a winner here on Tuesday. And for the play of the day, switching gears, talking about football, you have a couple of MAC games going on on Tuesday. We're going to get one game between Western Michigan and Northern Illinois, taking place at around 7 p.m. Eastern time. And for the play today, we'll get a total in this one. We're going with the under 63 at minus 110 on bet MGM. Time recording of 2:40 a.m. Eastern time. Coverings why I like the under in the spot. First of all, 63 on bet MGM is an absolute steal. And if you shop around, most books have 61 and a half. So one and a half point differential is pretty noticeable. However, FanDuel has 60 and a half. So you're saving two and a half points with no additional juice just by shopping your lines. That's very rare, especially when there's only two college football games on on a given night and the total's off by about two and a half points. There's a lot of money coming on the under. There's no way 63 is going to be there by opening kickoff, and I'm going to take it right now before the line drops. But you might be wondering, under in a MAC game, A, have you lost your mind? B, both these defenses aren't very good, so why would you like the under? And the main reason is kind of obvious. The weather is not supposed to be good. And if you want to talk about the actual weather in Illinois, of course, in November, it's cold, about 34 degrees for this game. However, the main story, the main reason why there has been under money, is the wind, because there's supposed to be a lot of it during this game, up to 19 mile per hour winds with gusts up to 29 miles per hour. So I do expect to see both teams who have pretty solid quarterbacks with LB and with Lombardi really be non-factors in the passing game, because I do think both teams will pivot and try to focus more on the ground game with these win conditions. But if you want to talk about both these teams on the ground, they're both pretty good at it. So I do think that if they have success early on, they're going to stick with it. And you'll see really, I'd say a, a few deep shots in the passing game, not many, but I don't exactly expect both coaches to expect to air it out frequently during this game. But Northern Illinois is averaging 228 plus rushing yards per game. Western Michigan is averaging north of 193 rushing yards per game. So both these teams are good at running the ball anyway, which makes me believe you'll see a lot of long drives, potentially four touchdowns, but I do think you'll see a lot of time come off the clock, which will, which will result in less possessions for both teams. But that shouldn't be much of a surprise because both these teams are very, very good at possessing the football. Western Michigan this season ranks sixth in the nation in time of possession. Northern Illinois ranks eighth in the nation in time of possession. So you might see a bunch of of five-plus minute drives, six-plus minute drives, et cetera. And I do think that if they get deep into plus territory, you might see a couple of them settle for field goals in the windy conditions, which could be just a complete waste of time. Or B, because of the wind, they're going to go for it deep in plus territory and maybe come away with nothing. So you might see a couple of long drives result in zero points, which definitely bodes well for the under. But I do think with the actual time of possession focuses from both teams and the desire to run the ball in these conditions, I do think you'll see a lot of long drives, which will result in less points for these two teams combined. But another factor, which might be why Western Michigan is actually favored in this game, the game doesn't really mean anything for Northern Illinois. Now, I know it's senior night, so you can make an argument sending the seniors out on a high note. However, the Huskies already clinched a spot in the MAC title game because they beat Buffalo last week in overtime. And they own the tiebreaker with Central Michigan, which means that regardless of a win or a loss in this spot, Northern Illinois is playing for a trophy in the future, which means why would they try in this game for all 60 minutes? Now, do I think that Lombardi and company are going to play in this game? Yeah, I think they'll play a half. But the main, I'd say, objective of the team right now is to stay healthy because you're trying to win a conference title and a trophy. So I do think that you'll see Lombardi and some other offensive starters get pulled in the second half of this game, as the play calling should be relatively vanilla. I think Northern Illinois recognized the situation. Sending the seniors out on a victory would be nice in, on their home field. However, sending the seniors out with a victory in the conference title game is infinitely nicer 
And I do think that you'll see Northern Illinois really shut it down offensively in the second half. Plus, if you want to go by trends, the under is 7-2 and two in the last nine meetings in Northern Illinois. So with all things being considered, you have a great line, which won't be there by kickoff. You have awful weather, which bodes well for the under. And both these teams are really good at possessing the ball. And I do think you'll see a lot of running clock with the ground game for both teams. So for that reason, I think you'll see this game probably close or land somewhere in the 50s. I don't think it's going to be a full sweat free win because these defenses are really not that good. But I do think that the game flow and the weather should result in a pretty positive game flow for the unders. The play that I once again here for Tuesday, November 23rd is going to be on Western Michigan and Northern Illinois under 63 at minus 110 on bet MGM. Bye everyone.